$320 for a new laptop sounds really cheap. It almost sounds like a Chromebook, but this one might be able to game. Features a Ryzen 5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and an iGPU that should be capable of light gaming, but will it actually game all right? We're gonna open up and find out after our open day sponsor. All right, all right. All right. When it comes to desks, there's a crazy amount of options available. In my opinion, however, there's two things that I love the most, standing desks and L-shaped desks. And today's video sponsor, FlexiSpot, is here to blow your mind and combine the two with their E7L standing desk. The E7L is an extra large L-shaped standing desk with a wide variety of material options available. L-shaped desks are amazing because they provide a versatile workspace, allowing for more room for other activities beyond just gaming. Paired with the triple motor and three-leg design, the FlexiSpot E7L is capable of adjusting between 25 inches and 50 inches while remaining extremely stable. And in case you're worried, it has a max loading capacity of 330 pounds while boasting a 15-year warranty. Look, you can lift me. And to keep it real with you, FlexiSpot is one of our favorite companies. We use their desks all around the office and for a wide variety of uses. We use their desks all around the office for a wide variety of uses and love their build quality and features. The FlexiSpot E7L is no exception to this, so if you're interested in learning more or buying one today, check out the links in the description down below. Big thanks again to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video, but let's get back to it, shall we? Okay, guys, we have a Best Buy laptop here. Jackson, tell them all about it. So I just was uh, scrolling Best Buy, looking at some deals, and this popped up, which um, Matt actually just checked. We paid $319 for it. Right now is $299 for a early Black Friday deal, you know, where they're doing like the whole entire month. This thing was really inspected by Best Buy, for real. <laughs> Severely inspected. Wh whatever their tape means, this is inspected by Best Buy, I guess because they just kind of tape it and then say, all right, it's inspected. So this is a Lenovo IdeaPad 1. Now you guys have probably seen us do the IdeaPad like gaming or the IdeaPad 3 a lot. Um, so the one is their, their entry level idea pad lineup and it just has a Ryzen 5 7520U 4 core 8 thread which is going to have those new Vega graphics built in. And I believe that we got a 15.6 inch model, but I'll have to verify that. Yeah, the one thing I know you mentioned out the gate is it is soldered RAM, mm -hmm. meaning there's really not any upgrades. And I don't even know if you can upgrade the storage either. Probably can't upgrade it all. So this is really kind of a, here's your laptop. If the specs work for you, great. If not, this probably isn't a laptop for you. And, and I do have to say, compared to something like a Chromebook or just a, any of the smart books in general, you're looking at like 200 bucks and those are like Celerons and Pentiums. They have usually like 32 gigs of storage and it's usually not even SSD storage. So this is definitely a huge step up at 299, especially if we can actually game on it. Uh, it just comes with the Lenovo 65 watt charger. I will say it's not their iconic USB-C or the rectangle port. It's just a barrel jack, which meh. It looks very similar to the normal IdeaPad line. So gaming three is the one we always look at, which looks a little bit different than this, has more rounded edges. This oh, one's blue. blue. Blue's yeah. different. I'm blue. I buy D by so, die. Windows in S mode. No. Oh no. Oh, we gotta get rid of that. Oh, is it going? You think it's going to be in S mode? Yes, it probably will be. For why he's looking at that, for those that don't know, S mode is basically Microsoft's way of limiting you to only downloading apps from the Microsoft Store mm -hmm. unless you go into the Microsoft Store and download an app that gets you out of S mode. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. It's ridiculous. Um, I guess the idea is to keep it more Mac-like in a sense, but even then Mac, you download apps from the internet. It's just kind of keep things more concise and more like a like an app store device, like an iPhone, iPad, like Android tablet, something like that. But it limits you to downloading only stuff in the Microsoft Store, which we will get out of that immediately if that's the case. Uh, we had this covering the keyboard area to keep it clean, but yeah, looks like it's a 15.6 inch screen or 15 inch actually, ultra slim design. We do get the little privacy shutter up top. You can see here Ryzen 7000 series, Ryzen 5 with Radeon graphics. I don't know if we have a backlit keyboard or not. And um, I do know that there's a version of this laptop. It might not be the idea pad, but I know it's a touchscreen version. Yeah, kind of the end goal with this is considered like an upgraded version of Chromebook with Windows, with the uh, AMD iGPU. In theory, you should be able to play some games, no problem, at least 60 FPS on most titles. Not super high-end games, mainly esports games, but um, yeah, it's a pretty decent upgrade over a Chromebook and it's Windows. Well, that's Windows. Dead. Well, while we go to charge it, I'll talk about the ports real quick. So on the left side of the laptop, we get the DC power jack, we get a USB 3, an HDMI out, a USB type C, which I assume can also be a type out. Uh, we get a combo headphone jack. And then on the right side of the laptop, full size SD card reader and USB just 2.0 it looks like. But yeah, so um, you know, we've tested out these APUs quite a few times now. Um, or at least similar APUs. And we've been able to play games like, you know, Minecraft, Roblox, Fortnite, like really low settings. So we'll definitely load some games on it that are eSports. And we'll probably put one AAA on there just for funsies, right? Uh, see what happens. Yeah, the biggest thing I'd be curious about is how much stuff is installed in the background. Because we've mm -hmm. seen a lot of new laptops recently, especially Windows 11 laptops, that with single channel 8 gigs is like all the memory is just eaten up immediately. So 
Hopefully that's not the case. If we're like in Windows and we're already at six gigs of used memory, it's not gonna be great considering it's soldered. Yeah, it's interesting because we have like, it doesn't look like it'd be hard to get into. So, I mean, from the guides I could found of people tearing these down, there wasn't anything upgradable, but maybe for fun, we should yeah, take we it should, apart at some point. We can open it up after the initial benchmarks yeah. and see if there's anything you can do, but we'll get to that moment whenever we load so in. So long this takes. All right, guys, we're at Windows. That, that was a really long update, wasn't it? Like 20 well, minutes? It may, so we had to do a sign in to a Microsoft account. I think it's because it's an S mode, it lets you do the workaround. Right. Um, so you had to sign in there and that did take a process. Now, one thing that we need to see is it actually touchscreen? Because I feel like I remembered buying. Oh yeah, Ooh, touch screen. Oh yeah, it's weird because it's not glossy. Normally, I'm used to the screens being kind of glossy, so you can just tell it's touchscreen. But that's pretty cool for 300 bucks. Um, so this is max brightness too, by the way, which honestly pretty impressive. So to go over the specs, AMD Ryzen 5 7520U, which is a four core, eight thread, running at a 2.8 gigahertz base frequency. Uh, now this part kind of sucks. We have eight gigs of just single channel DDR5, interestingly enough at 5,500 megahertz, um, weird. But then you notice how we have 1.9 cache and then basically two gigs available because look at, we're using 5.7 just sitting here. So obviously the APU needs some VRAM, so it has to borrow from the RAM. Uh, we have a SK Hynix 256 gig. Do you think this is a Gen 4? Gen 3, just yeah. uh, I don't know when there. Speed wise, we'll just say it's Gen 3, but it could be Gen 4. Um, we do have a look, I think we, we're we using adapter right now. Yes. Uh, wait, does this even have Ethernet? No Ethernet. I guess it doesn't, okay. So yeah, that's one limitation. Now Wi-Fi wise, we do get I'll have to look up what Wi-Fi card specifically. I know we normally don't talk about that, but I guess it's important when you uh, sure literally only have Wi-Fi. <laughs> okay, so we're using a Wi-Fi 6 802.11ax, so that should be a pretty decent adapter. And then obviously our Vega graphics, which uh, are these six or 740M? Yeah. One thing I wanted to see while Matt was looking that up is I noticed that McAfee is, is on here. Now, did you close out of anything? No, I've done that. So that's kind of interesting. Right now, the only thing up is Teams and then like Bluetooth and then our, our basic like Windows security. McAfee is here along with Lenovo Vantage. Um, and then I guess they paid some bills with Red Bull, question mark. <laughs> Shout out Red uh, Bull. Yeah, Red Bull is, is a partner of Lenovo apparently. Uh, it's not the lamest background I've ever seen. But anyways, um, it's interesting that McAfee is like not just open. I wonder if we restart eventually, if it will pop up, if not. Good on Lenovo for not forcing it. Startup apps. The iGPU is the Radeon 610M, which is oh, one okay. we've tested a few times and it's okay. It's definitely one of the lesser of the um, iGPUs, but it should still work for our goal oh. here. Look, Mac, if he's not, he's not even in the startup area. Is it on here? I mean, it's, it's here. I guess here, I'll click on it. We'll see if it actually... Oh, there's no app. Oh, cool. Uh, so it's not installed. Wow, they gave us an option? Wow. wow. Shout out Lenovo. Hopefully they do that in future laptops. That's cool on this one. Honestly though, I will say if uh, McAfee was installed and open, this thing would have no RAM. No. I like, guess that's the, one of the things too. I'm already so. gonna get rid of like Teams. We're gonna go ahead and disable some startup apps because we obviously, yeah. we need to do updates. Um, the good news is since it's an APU, we don't really need to do any actual driver installs. We can just let Windows updates go. Um, and then we'll get Steam on here. We'll get those games installed. We gotta get Afterburner, all that sort of jazz. But I think it's possible. Get those Windows updates going. And hopefully, with our six gigs of RAM and iGPU, we can play some games on this thing. Let's we're gonna do try. It. All right, guys, we're on the IdeaPad 1. And we're in Minecraft right now, of course. A, a classic game, one that just feels essential to play on a laptop like this. And to show you guys the settings that we are running, and I figured I will even change them around a little bit this time, but we're on uh, full screen. 5x5 five five biome, fancy, uh, threaded chunk builder. We did turn like smooth lighting off. So basically we're kind of on a, you know, called a medium preset if you will. And once you get past like all the chunking, basically like, you know, loading in. So as you can see, I'm just gonna run straight. As we load into new areas, we're definitely gonna get some lag and that's just a limitation of things like the RAM, the CPU, the APU, really just everything having to load at once. You know, having higher in hardware will definitely load stuff quicker, but even with high-end hardware, you're still gonna get those slight little FPS drops when it loads new areas. But once you're at an area you've been at, so not running backwards, you know, we're not having a problem maintaining pretty close to 100 FPS for the most part. Yeah, you know, little GPU and CPU is only running at 16, 17 watts, so pretty power efficient. Try to, let's, let's just bump up settings real quick and see what that looks like. We now have even, even more assets to load. Uh, you know, we actually have some shadows that you can kind of see on areas. Now it's basically ray tracing, honestly. <laughs> it's practically but, Minecraft's ray tracing. Uh, yeah, I mean, as long as you're not like constantly, like if you're in creative mode, you know, or anything like that, 
I can see it being a little annoying when you're just flying over areas. It's definitely gonna be a little chunky, but I mean, hey, getting, uh, you know, 80 plus FPS on the six tier screen in Minecraft, definitely pretty acceptable. So yeah, we're gonna go up in terms of demand. So we're gonna start with Minecraft, we're gonna go to Fortnite, and then we'll end off in Apex Legends, mm -hmm. which is probably gonna be worst case scenario for the 610M graphics. So we'll zoom to Fortnite, see how that performs, performance settings, and then move up to Apex. All right, guys, we're now in Fortnite, and uh, this might be where we see a little bit of struggling here. We are on unlimited frame rate, which I'm probably gonna turn that off really quickly here. Uh, let's just go uh, near view distance. Let's go low across the board. 50% render scale, 1080p. So basically we're doing 720p in terms of the scaling. And um, if we get 60 FPS, I think that'd be fine. Uh, we gotta land first to see what's going on. As you can see, RAM situation, it looks like we have a lot of RAM, but again, we only have six available. So we're pretty much getting close to that point where we are using all the RAM that we have. Um, I mean, it's probably, I mean, Fortnite loves to use 12 or more. So yes. it's, it's probably really having to, to really compress and be selective. <laughs> it's really compressing. I feel like, you know, in 2024, if a laptop is gonna come with soldered RAM, at the very least 12 gigs, you know, just yeah. a little bit more headroom, it just seems kind of, you know, again, it's all about the price for these things, but it does feel a bit low, but. I wish it was a single channel too. Yes. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Oh God, oh I was, God. I was just thinking, it's cool that we're not getting hard lockups. And, and that was the first hard lockup. I'll give it a little bit longer uncapped, but I'll probably cap it at 60 here in a minute. I gotta say, for this being a touchscreen, I like the non-glossy look of it. Like, there's no glare or anything. Yeah, it's actually a really solid display. Let uh, put aside the whole, you know, gaming aspect of it, which is not again at this price point. Gaming is kind of like an extra thing if you really think about it. We're just the toasty it. bros. We're just the toasty bros, <laughs> and we game on it. We put aside the gaming aspect of it. It's a good like laptop overall. Oh god. Don't walk up now, laptop. Ooh, hoo, hoo. This person won a game. I don't know how, <laughs> and they just died to me. Ooh. Oh. Oh. How do they see me? I was thinking, I feel, I feel like that has to be a bot thing, right? That was definitely a bot thing because it was like looking through the tree <laughs> unless they were, unless my low textures <coughs> are just causing that big of a problem. I don't know how they saw me. Oh God. Pull up. Ooh. What's the plan here, bud? They oh. said I'm going to make you lag. I mean, that's a smart plan. It's crazy how much better, um, like, cause you're, so you're basically at 720p, it's crazy how much better, like, that, that looks on a laptop. It does. Screen and pixel density is such a big deal. Like, if you uh, have a smaller screen at 720p versus, let's say, if this thing was even just, like, five or six inches bigger, <laughs> um, it definitely would have looked kind of gross, but it's not bad. That's why gaming on laptops at 720p is not the worst thing in the world, even though, again, nowadays, kind of would hope for more, but it's not horrible. Oh, one thing to note as well is important. I did remove high-res textures on the pre-launch options, which is why everything looks so flat. Oh, it's still not reloaded. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think that was a real person. Fortnite, it's not amazing. It's okay. I think it's decent for what kind of specs you're getting. Again, when we talk about laptops, you can't overlook the fact that you get a screen, a keyboard, and everything all in one, and we're talking like $300 or less right now. You can't really overlook the value in that. Should there be more RAM probably in 2024? Yeah, of course, but the price is still pretty decent. Well, let's try Apex Legends. That one's probably gonna be a 720p for sure, <laughs> uh, but we'll give it a go and see uh, what the limit is of this thing when it comes to esports titles. All right, guys, we're playing Apex Legends. We're at 720p, and we're on all low settings because this is a AAA title. And I will say, this is a, usually a pretty easy to run AAA title, so, um, you know, if, if this doesn't run well at all, don't expect to play anything better than this. No, don't expect it, but this is the best in our list, so let's see uh, what we have going on here. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. god. This is it. This I don't is, even need to turn off toggle or anything. This is Apex Legends. Oh! 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 Pop that smoke. Oh, I'm freaking stuck. I need to get my kill. Oh no. And now it's, oh god. Oh no, now your chances are no. lower and lower and lower. FPS boost coming? Yes! Yes! Yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm not really giving Apex the pass. I think it kind of stops at about Fortnite levels. So Fortnite, Roblox, Minecraft, um, other basic games like that, I think it's totally acceptable. But I think anything AAA in that category, probably not gonna be playable. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, talk more about this laptop and uh, 
Laptops in general, because the market is, you gotta kill. You gotta kill. It's kind of easy, honestly. The laptop market in general is uh, getting good deals right now during Black Friday. So we'll talk about this laptop and other laptops you can pick up, and um, we'll deal with that two minute ban. Uh, ban. I'm ban. not banned for two minutes. Oh, God. Okay, uh, before we wrap this video up fully, we did say we would take this laptop apart just to see what it looks like on the inside. And Jackson's currently removing all the screws, which, have you found like a security screw or anything yet? Everything seems to be accessible. Yet. I like how easy this is. Sometimes they like kind of stay behind. Let's see if we're gonna need a, probably need like a little card or something for this. The pick is always the move. Mm. Mm. Smooth operator. The laptop is in sleep mode, by the way, so don't do anything to it. <laughs> wow, here we are. Okay, so the SSD could be changed. Oh yeah, it but it's a it small a boy. Yeah, it's a, it's a little mini guy. I like the little Lenovo like tamper seal. Oh wait, maybe you can. Oh, uh, you could. You probably just removed that, and then you whatever could. that is. I don't know. What oh, that is. it looks like it's a whole. Oh, it's like an adapter, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like an adapter for full size. Um, if it matters to anyone, I guess in case this ever goes bad, you can change the Bluetooth Wi-Fi. That chip is the out. fan, and it's spinning. Oh my God, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anything else? RAM, I would assume, is soldered to the board somewhere like right Dude, here. Do you know what's crazy is the board is like just this. It is super small. And then we have like a USB controller area over here, battery. Battery's thin. Yeah, it's a really big battery, but I mean, yeah, that's really all there is. I'm assuming our RAM is probably like maybe yeah. this chip soldered here, but yeah, definitely not upgradable on the RAM, but that is cool that the storage is at least upgradable. I was wrong about that. So there's one thing that's upgradable. Let's wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we took the back of the laptop off and we gamed on it. And one thing that we did find is the storage is upgradable. RAM is definitely not. Honestly, for 300 bucks, one of the best we've seen. Now gaming, it's okay. Yeah, those integrated graphics kind of do what we expect them to do. And all the games we played, I would say Fortnite was playable, lower setting 60 FPS. We also had Minecraft, which is very playable. And when we get to Apex and anything that's more demanding than Apex, I would definitely say it's a no-go for this laptop. But if you're getting it for office and schoolwork and you pay $300 or less, $314 in our scenario, you're getting some pretty decent price to performance in terms of a laptop with everything included. So if you want to buy one today from Best Buy, use the link description down below. They will be affiliate links. They will help us out. Let us know if you're considering picking up a budget laptop like this for school, work, or just general use or play. I don't know what emulators? you want to buy one for. Emulators. You can do emulators. Let us know in the comment down below if you end up picking one up. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our Twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Now that this laptop has been checked out by the Toasty Bros and has the seal of approval, it will be for sale at PCBros.Tech. PCBros.Tech, you see the stuff on the YouTube channel, you wanna know where you can buy it, you go to PC Bros, along with all the other awesome PCs we have ready to go. I almost lost it there, guys, but I saved myself. Use code Toasty Bros on checkout, you'll save 3% <laughs> your next purchase. See you guys later, goodbye. Bye.